doing some math Get those tools cause we're doing some math Don't forget all those rules Yeah, yeah. we're doing some math All right, uh, I'm gonna do something different this week. Um, we're gonna have fun, I think, I hope. Uh, we are going to do an experiment. Uh, the only thing you'll need for this experiment is two dice, two six-sided normal dice, and a piece of paper and a pencil. Um, if you don't have two dice, just email me that you don't have two dice and that'll be fine. Uh, you can follow along with everybody else's results. Alright, so it's super simple. All you're gonna have to do is roll the two dice and record what you get. Uh, I'll talk more about that in a moment, but let's talk about some math for a moment and then we'll get to the, what the activity is gonna be. Alright, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to roll two six-sided dice and uh, take the sum. So if you roll two ones, then you could get a two. We'll just label this the sum. You could get a three, a four, a five, a six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and if you roll two sixes, you get a twelve. Now, we're going to take a look at what probability says we should get, and then we're uh, going to actually roll the dice a bunch of times ourselves. And the more times we roll the dice, the closer we actually get to probability, which is amazing. So for the sum of one, I I'm sorry, so for the sum of two, I literally have one outcome. There are 36 all together. So, um, in a percentage, we'll just do uh, 1 divided by 36, and that's 2.8%. Okay. Um, here's an interesting little. Uh, fact, uh, when we're looking for things that add up to three, we actually have two of those. We have two, one, and one, two. So that's uh, two out of 36, or one over 18. And that's equal to 5.5 repeating forever, so 5.6%. And then the things that add up to four, we got. 1, 3, 2, 2, and 3, 1. What we notice is if we look at a diagonal here that goes from a lower left-hand corner to an upper right-hand corner, all of those entries add up to the same thing. So we have 3 out of 36, which is 1 12th. And this is the probability of uh, getting 2, getting a sum of 3. Now we're calculating getting the sum of 4. That's 8.3%. And so on and so forth. Um, what we're going to notice here, if we take a look at all the ones that add up to 5, we have 4 of those. That's 11 percent of rolling two dice and the sum being five. Uh, for six of them, we actually have five outcomes there. I'm going to come back to this. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> felt the dog ran away. She didn't. Sweet deal. Uh, there are six here that add up to seven. And then, uh, so the probability of that is 16.7%. Um, and then when we take a look at the ones that add up to eight, 
that's five of them again. So the probability of rolling two dice and having the sum be eight is actually the exact same as rolling two dice and having the outcome be six. 13.9% chance. And the probability of getting a nine is actually the same probability of getting a five because there are four outcomes where you get a nine. Uh, when I say get a nine, I mean the sum of the two dice is nine. Uh, the probability of getting a ten is actually the same probability of getting a four. And the probability of getting an 11 is the same as the probability of getting a 3. And the probability of getting a 12, well, there's only one outcome that gives you a 12, just like there's only one outcome that gets you a 2. So it's 2.8%. So this is what probability tells you you should get uh, when you roll two dice. Um, I couldn't have planned that any better. It says I should probably get a 7. And what did I just roll? A 7, literally. Uh, so what we're going to do is actually roll some dice and collect the data. So here's what we're going to do. Grab yourself a nice clean sheet of paper. Call it rolling two dice and taking the sum. And what you're going to want to do is label, uh, number the paper from 2, 3, 4, all the way to 12. Start at 2, don't start at 1, because you can't roll two dice and get a 1. But you can not roll two dice and get a 2, all the way. Oops, there we go. Yep, perfect. All right. And what you're going to want to do is just roll the dice a bunch of times, add the two numbers together, and then do a tally mark here. Oops, I'll get those on camera. That is a magical coincidence. Let's get them all on camera, though, to be for real. All right, so those add up to be nine, so we'll just do a check mark there. We'll just do little tally marks. There, I got a seven. Little tally mark. There's an 11 tally mark, and so on and so forth. Little snake eyes, we got a two there. Um, I want all my rolls to be on screen. There's another seven, and now I'm going to start fast forwarding. All right, that's, that's going to be it. 
I was going to say keep on going until you have at least five of each outcome, but I think another good stopping spot is if we have uh, 25 of one outcome. So now we'll just tally them all up. So we've got two twos. For threes, I got nine of them. Fours, I got nine of them. Fives, I got 16 of them. For six, I also got 16. For seven, I got 25. For eight, I got 15. For nine, I got 14. For 10, I got 15. For 11, I got eight. And for 12, I got seven. All right, so yeah, that is what you have to do for this week. You have to roll a bunch of dice. A bunch of dice. I mean, take a while. I, I was working on this for like, what, 20 minutes? Fast forwarded a lot of it, but um, it's not that difficult. And what I, we're going to do is all of you submit all of your dice rolling. Tell me how many you got, uh, 2 through 12. Uh, you must have at least five for each, and you can stop once you get 25 of one, and it's probably seven. Um, but yeah, that, that'll ensure you have a, a, good, a good number of rolls here, probably around 200 or so, if I were to just add those up. Um, yeah, I'm curious. Uh, how many did I do all together? Two plus nine plus... 9 plus 16 plus 16 plus 25 plus 15 plus 14 plus 15 plus 8 plus 7 136 um yeah some you'll probably do at least 100 rolls uh but hopefully less than 200 doesn't really matter what the number is uh just Roll those dice and... Oh, really? I was waiting. <laughs> I was waiting and that literally just happened. You never know with this stuff. It's a game of chance. It really is. Uh, I'm going to go one more on that because I was, I was really wanting another. And I, I'm going to count that, that roll because uh, I've been waiting for those snake eyes. All right. Um, yeah. Talk about what we're going to do with all these numbers. I'll probably compile them and shoot a cool video at the end of the week that you can watch uh, so you can see. Hi, Will. I want to say hi to my students. Hi, Will. Bye. Okay, bye.